Well, today, art is dead. That is quite the bold claim. But with the rise of AI, where anyone can type in any wild idea that is in their head, and in moments, an AI can generate multiple images in just about every style we can think of, not just images, but we already have books published that were 100% written by an AI. So does that mean artists will become a thing of the past? Should we as artists support this ne new technology? And if we do, are there any pitfalls? Let's start with will our artists become a thing of the past? Or, as I said at the start, is art dead? I confess, that is a slightly stolen quote. That actual quote was, from today, painting is dead. It is attributed to Paul Delaroche in around 1840 upon seeing one of the earliest types of photography. I can understand how, when seeing this, it was such a step change in the speed and ease of how images could be created. And I can imagine that every improvement in art had people feeling that that form was not good enough or was a challenge to their art form. It's true that fresco artists are few and far between now, and I wonder when they saw oil paintings, if there were arguments about the true nature of art. If oil painters sneered at people who took up acrylics as them not being true artists for the speed of the medium to dry, and they both banded together to look down their artistic noses at watercolour painters. In the past few decades, there have been an explosion of digital art forms as well, some just as complicated as oil painting, and others little more than finger painting on top of a photograph. And even sculpture was potentially replaced with 3D printing. But have any of these things actually killed art? I would actually argue the opposite. In the early days of art, generally they were only in places like churches. And then the very wealthy had them in their homes. The new methods of art have allowed art to become available to more people. I would argue that the sales of expensive high art is now lower than it was, as the people with enough money still purchase and commission it. But now just about every building you enter will have some kind of art, whether a life-sized oil painting or a photograph of the grandkids. And 3D painting is a great example, as it's not ended up taking over from sculpture, but it's offering many different things that artists wouldn't want to create, from transplant parts to intricate reproducible gears. So just like Paul couldn't see the future of photography because it was too new to him, I feel we can't predict where we're going to end up with these AI images. But having played around with them for a few months now, I will say as amazing as they are to look at at the moment, they're nowhere near a one-click replacement for an artist. Text-to-image AIs really have some impressive issues with anatomy. And for all those amazing images you're seeing, the creator of them likely spent many hours refining their prompts and rejecting the horrific variations until they actually finally got something decent. And these newer chat box make many mistakes and their writing style is just not right. As a fun experiment, I let Chatty write a portion of my last video and I was able to see the retention, that's how many people are watching for how long, was actually way less than my usual videos at the point that the chatbot was writing for me. And that's compared to videos with my own terrible grammar. Her writing on paper looked great, but it's just kind of not quite human, I guess. So should artists embrace these AIs? As I said, we just can't predict where this will go. But personally, I think of them as another tool rather than a replacement for an artist. Sure, some people will use them for art on their social media or perhaps even in their homes. But in the majority, they will be the people who were not going to buy original artwork anyway. I don't see it really any differently from my using tools to create my logos or YouTube thumbnails. I wasn't going to hire a graphic designer anyway. And for the rest of us, these can be a tool. Have you ever used a reference photo or a model? For me, I think this is amazing for some kind of reference for those flights of fancy that are in your head, but you're struggling to put on paper. How a fantasy creature would look in a certain pose, how the light would bounce off the slime on their fangs, and for getting inspired, like looking into flames or at clouds. Sometimes the shapes you see 
can actually spark ideas. So why not give random prompts to an AI and be inspired by something you see there? Of course, there are downsides with this. You can't fail to have heard the controversy, basically around the fact that the AI has been trained on vast amounts of copyrighted images. And also each image that it creates is supposed to be a unique image. Some do not like the fact that you can get artwork in the style of named artists. I honestly don't know where I stand on this. On one side, most of us are inspired by someone. Unique is built on the shoulders of those who've come before us. But I also 100% understand why people are unhappy their work has been used to train an AI and it's not really able to create its own style. So in the style of can actually be a little too close. This is such a new thing, so courts and everything are trying to catch up as well. My gut feeling is we might have a system where these AIs are not able to do in the style of an actual named living artist. If the artist's work is in the public domain, you might be able to say in the style of Van Gogh or something. But if you want a more modern style, you would have to mention the style, not the individual name of the painter. So in an impressionistic style rather than a copyrighted artist. But actually, I'm more concerned about the impact that chat might be having stealing people's work. Let me explain. Bing is already incorporating a chat bot to its search engine, and Google is not far behind. Now, currently, even on Google, if we search for a question, Google will answer by showing snippets from people's articles with a link to the article. If you don't click on the link, the person who wrote the article article doesn't get any traffic to their website. So Google is using their work for free to make Google better for the customers. But at least that link is there. Chatty does not link her sources. So a chatbot is taking the results from possibly multiple articles, but those articles do not get any credit in the form of views for their work. So there will be less incentive for people to write helpful articles that answer questions when Chatty just nabs their work. Thankfully, cleverer people than me will have to fight this out and we'll see where this ends up in a few years. The other interesting pitfall that has come up is what about the artwork that you create using the AI? As I said before, it's actually often quite a process to get something actually good from the AI. You can even already take courses on how to learn to write good prompts for the tools. So if you spend all that time creating something that is unique, is it yours to take and sell? Dali's terms and conditions state that you have to disclose that everything you create is made from an AI. So if you're taking the images and trying to sell them on Etsy, then the customer would have to be aware of this. This might put them off, but if it doesn't, there may actually be a worse problem. Obviously, this is all very new, but there has been at, one, at least one legal case of an artist trying to copyright their AI-created work. And in the US courts, it was decided that AI-generated content cannot be copyrighted as copyright protection is limited to human work. Now, obviously, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't say what this really means for the future, but there's a chance that your AI-created artwork could be used by anyone. Anyway, with all this being said, what do you think of AI tools? A fun distraction, the beginning of the end, or the start of a new explosion of creation? Personally, I think it's too soon to say. I don't think Skynet is plotting against us yet. It's good, but it's not great. It is likely to get better from now on, but how useful it ends up being, I can't foresee. But it's no more the end of art than photography was the end of painting. Now, I'm interested to hear your views here also. I will put the one caveat I didn't think I had to, but here we go. I'm interested to hear your views and have a discussion, but hating on the people that are using this or like, Pam, you're the worst person in the world unsubscribe. That is not a conversation. That is the end of a conversation. I didn't create these AIs. I don't particularly, I don't particularly endorse them, but the world is always changing. And I feel it is important to look in and find out what is coming up, whether we agree with it or not, and to hopefully adapt it to our ends and be aware of the pitfalls. So conversation, absolutely. Arguments and hates. Now, nah, life's too short for that.